What parents need to know about Duchenne muscular dystrophy. This is Jimmy. He was born a healthy baby with no complications. During his first year, he had normal development. However, by age two, his parents noticed that he was a late walker, and by age three, he had a delay in speech and language. Now Jimmy is four years old, and his physical ability differs significantly from other children. He has a waddling gait, which is a duck-like walk, has difficulty with steps, and experiences frequent falls. Also, he is unable to keep up with his friends in sports. His worried parents take him to the doctor and explain their concerns. The doctor then reads through the patient and family history of Jimmy. She begins a physical examination. Hi Jimmy, can you please lie on your back on the floor and stand up for me? Thank you, Jimmy. As you saw, Jimmy rolled over and used his hands to push on his legs in order to stand up, which could mean that he has weakness in his leg muscles. This sign is known as the Gower's Maneuver. There is a possibility that Jimmy may have Duchenne muscular dystrophy. What is Duchenne muscular dystrophy? It is a genetic disorder where the mother is the carrier and occurs in about 1 in 5,000 male births. This disease is caused by mistakes in the dystrophin gene, which leads to no dystrophin production. Dystrophin is an important protein for the structure of muscles, and without it, progressive muscle weakness and muscle wasting occur. Diagnostic tests will be done by obtaining a blood sample from Jimmy. One test is the creatine kinase test. Creatine kinase is an enzyme that increases in blood when there's muscle damage. Another test is genetic testing, which reveals any mistakes in the exact location in the dystrophin gene. Hello Jimmy's mom. Please come to my office so we can discuss Jimmy's lab results. I am sorry to say, but Jimmy has Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Most young boys with DMD may experience problems with running and are unable to climb stairs repeatedly without support. They may have pseudohypertrophy of the calves, meaning false enlargement of the calf muscles that become replaced by fat and scar tissue. Another feature can be toe walking because the calf muscles are tightened. Also, when standing, there may be an increased inward curve of the lower back called lumbar lordosis and wide base stance for stability. Without treatment, most boys with DMD may lose the ability to walk before the age of 13, becoming wheelchair dependent. Also, their spine may develop into a sideways curve called scoliosis, which often requires surgery. And by their late teens and early 20s, they may die from respiratory or heart failure. There are treatment options for DMD, such as corticosteroids, which are considered the gold standard treatment for patients with DMD who are able to walk. One example is Deflazacort. Please be aware that this medication is not a cure for DMD. However, it helps to increase muscle strength, and there are long-term benefits such as slowing the loss of ambulation or walking, enhancing lung and heart function, and increasing lifespan. A study done in 2016 examined the efficacy and safety of deflazacort treatment in 196 boys aged 5 to 15 years with DMD. The results from the study demonstrate that the medication is able to preserve muscle strength and has few side effects such as weight gain. Also, I recommend low intensity exercises for 15 minutes 5 days per week which can help delay the progression of DMD. A study done in 2013 consisted of 30 ambulatory and recently wheelchair-dependent boys aged 7 to 13 years with DMD who participated in assisted leg and arm cycling using a mobility trainer at a low intensity for 15 minutes, 5 days per week. The researchers conclude that exercising at a low intensity is easy and safe for boys who can walk and boys who use a wheelchair. Also, it may slow the rate of functional deterioration. And just as a disclaimer, 
always speak to your doctor before starting any medication or exercise. Here are some points you can take away. DMD is a genetic disorder. Mistakes in the dystrophin gene lead to the lack of dystrophin protein production, which results in muscle damage. The diagnosis involves creatine kinase blood tests and genetic testing. DMD is a progressive disease, and deflazacort and low-intensity exercise have shown to help delay DMD progression. Thank you for watching this video. If you are interested to learn more about medical topics, please be sure to check out the Demystifying Medicine YouTube page for more videos.